A little update to the fermentation chamber here. Uh, just sealing everything up a little bit. Some 1D duct tape. Friends thought it'd be funny to give that to me for Christmas. And I'm going to add some cooling here in a minute. Hopefully it'll work out pretty well. My cooling for my fermentation chamber, I'm going to be using a the, basically the ice method. But I have a ice maker that I got from work that uh, was broken, but I repaired. Um, just needed a new, just needed a new part and a little bit of soldering. So hopefully, when this gets going, it'll actually continually make ice, and so I don't have to keep that close a track on it because the cheap ice coolers that you see out there you have to keep refilling them with ice like every couple of days and I would be really bad at that so hopefully this will keep ice going for a couple of weeks before it has to be changed out basically the water has to be cleaned out because it gets a little uh, scummy if you don't clean it out but this is hopefully is going to be a good option and it's the uh, magic chef ice maker right now it's missing that the bucket and the shovel that I need to install back in there. And basically the only reason why I'm using this is it was free. The replacement part parts just cost me about 23 bucks and uh, otherwise I just get an air conditioner because an ice maker like this is normally around 200 bucks and you can get an air conditioner for like 130 which would be a better way to go for something more permanent but I don't really have that kind of money to spend right now so Hopefully this will be a good option for the summertime. Okay, so here's my cooler finished. Just got a little bit of cardboard on the side to direct the airflow out, so hopefully the air should blow down in there from the it's an old CPU cooler fan. Hopefully it'll be powerful enough to push the air out of there over the, uh, the cold air that's in there from the ice and then out into the fermentation chamber. So I'm going to go ahead and stick it in there and see if it works. Got the old CPU fan blowing down into there. And then the fermentation chamber and there's the controller. And then over on this side We'll cut out there and hopefully that'll blow the cool air into the fermentation chamber and uh, hopefully it's enough just to keep it at 20C, about 68 degrees Fahrenheit. So I'm going to seal it up and see if we can get down to temperature. Okay, so here is the fermentation chamber all done. You can kind of see, oh, it's not really good. There is the opening of the ice maker. Got a sheet around the edges to hold in the air. And I mounted the fan so it blows across the room. Looks like we might have a little bit of a buildup. Front row. Looks like the shovel got stuck. Take a look at that quick. So I moved the fan from the top. I moved the fan from the top of the ice maker to the front because it was just blowing in hot air from the garage out here. And so now it's just blowing back straight into it and then across the top and back out into the fermentation chamber. Got some, got a brown going there. That's rum. It's kombucha on secondary, one back there is kombucha, and then Pinot Grigio back there. And some random bottles. I gotta check out the what's going on here. Get this jam fixed. But it's been holding at, so far it's been holding at 20 degrees C, so that's perfect. It works.